This is a video guide on how to get all 19 collectibles for mission number seven, the secret weapons mission in Sniper Elite 5. So starting right from the beginning of the mission here, as you proceed onwards here to the first kind of little drop, you're gonna aim at this area right over here where I'm pointing on the map now. So as you get to this area here, you'll see right over there, there is a dude who will arrive on a bike. You will have to kill this dude and loot him for a first collectible. Make sure you do this before he leaves with the bike. Also, there is another mission or a medal you can get in this, in this mission specifically, where you destroy five types of vehicles, starting with that bike. Then we're gonna progress over to the bridge towards the left side of that area we were just at. So over here, just before you go on the bridge, you're gonna go on the left here by the waterfall, take a left through this cave, and you're gonna break open this wooden stuff. You're gonna go left, and you'll see this is where the pistol workbench is located. So go ahead and collect that. The next one is going to be at the big settlement or the big kind of like, you know, fortified area over here at this building is where we're going to be going. So as you enter this fort, we're going to go to the left here. You'll see there is some like wooden stuff here that can be broken apart so you can get in here nice and easy. Then you're going to go up to the left. You're going to go up these stairs and you will see in this room over here, be careful the enemies. There is a door that you can open, but we're not going through the store just yet, but go ahead and open it and then continue going up these stairs because you'll see there's a collectible on the table that you can collect and then now you're going to be going downstairs again basically going through that door that you just opened and you're going to go left into this corner over here and you'll see there is a stone eagle hidden very 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 hidden over there so yeah go shoot that i don't know how people are supposed to find this from here, you're going to continue along north over here to this little kind of like beach front area. So this little house over here is where you're going. There'll be some enemies, defeat them, and you'll be able to pick off a collectible on this table right over here. Now, there is another vehicle that you can destroy in this area, and this is the boat that is going around in the water here. Just shoot the things on the back of it here. I do recommend using armor piercing rounds so that you can destroy the, the boat just by shooting it with your sniper rifle. Makes it a whole lot quicker. Okay, so now we're gonna progress to the beach, or the bridge, sorry, to the right side of the location we just left. So over here, underneath the bridge on the right side here, you'll see there is a thing that you can collect under the bridge, which is a hidden item that you can pick up. So go ahead and pick that one up. Now you're gonna head over to the right side of the map. There are some tanks in the middle of the map that you can destroy for your uh, five vehicle des destruction. Now we're going to this building right over here at this train yard, as you can see on the map. So right now, what you're gonna do is find a dude who has a key, just makes it easier. Otherwise you need a satchel to blow up this safe. Now in this building here, you're gonna go in here on the left. Now inside this house, you're looking for these stairs upwards. So in this room here, you're gonna go to the left through here, up the stairs. And you'll see you'll go left and then basically left again. You'll see there is something on the table as well as the safe. You can use the key on the safe or a satchel if you didn't collect the key to open this and collect another collectible inside here. Now, in case you don't know where to take the next photo for the objective, you do it from that location. And then we're going to head over here, right to this weird kind of like, you know, outcropping of land area. So when you get here, you're going to aim up at that little outcropping of land and you will see there is a stone eagle hidden. It blends in so freaking well, like, dude. The next collectible will be north of your location here at these houses over here. The first house that you will encounter, this one over here, is the one you need to climb up. So when you go in here, you can climb up this kind of like, you know, greater railing, and then you're gonna climb up this window and you're gonna go across like this to the other side so that you can drop down in front of this door, open up the door, and inside this room, you'll see there's nothing. But if you go downstairs, there is something in this like fireplace thing over here. And when you pick that up, that is the collectible that you need. Now we're gonna proceed north again here, following this path to here. Now there are a lot of types of vehicles over here. So if you wanna do the thing where you destroy five types of vehicles, this is where you're gonna get at least three of them, maybe even four if you go and destroy the armored one inside the base itself. Now the base over here is where we're going. This major big base where there's an objective. You're gonna enter through the main bunker after killing everybody. You'll see there's some tanks here. You're gonna to go to that staircase right at the back to the right, and you're gonna go up the staircase. You're gonna pick up this key that is gonna be on this table here in front of this staircase so pick that up here and now you're going to take the stairs all the way to the top so just run up all the different stairs until you get to the top now run across this little pathway here and then go to the left you'll see there is a door with a satchel kind of ghost on it you can use that key to open up this door and inside this room is where you'll find another collectible so just head to this big table over here and you'll find the collectible over here it's also part of your objective 
Now we're going to leave this place and we're going to go to the south to the kind of like missile thing that you will see at this location over here. There is a officer here in this location and when you kill this officer, you'll get a specific key. Now you're going to head north. You'll see there's this big giant door just opposite that. So the north side here with a giant ladder, you're going to climb up this ladder. You'll see there is a door that we're going to go in soon. But first, we're going to go into this door over here and collect the collectible. After you've got this collectible, you're going to go through that door that we just saw the first one. And this is going to take you along this pathway here to the giant dome. So follow the path into there, kill a bunch of people, do these objectives that you need to do with like all the pressure valves, and then go up the stairs all the way at the back, following these spinning stairs and take the first left that you can. You'll be some enemies here. One enemy is going to have a key and that key is going to open up that door over there. But first, take the first door on the left, go prone under this table. There is a hidden item, very, very hidden. This mission is probably the most difficult out of all the missions I've done so far. And then you're going to go open that door and you're going to collect the workbench for the SMGs. Okay, so from the SMG workbench, we're going to turn around and we're going to go this way over here. So I'm going to guide you back out the exit here and you're going to continue going up the stairs, the spiral of stairs. And once this opens up into a major room, there's going to be a lot of people to fight and kill. It might be a bit difficult, but what you're going to do is take a right and you're going to go up the staircase over here, basically in the middle kind of silo thing in the middle of the room here. You'll see there's like a control room and you can pick up something on the table to the right as you enter. Now you can leave that building and you can enter this side over here on the road. There is a kind of bunker path that you're going to follow through to this beach over here. So as you run down here, you'll see you'll take a left to a giant submarine looking thing here or missile, I, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. And then you can pick up the thing on the table and then you can head past the missile to the right side here. Now this is heading north directly upwards of the map here. Now you're looking for an enemy that is a Jaeger sniper and when you kill him, he will have a specific key to open up the bunker that is right in front of you over here. So towards the north of where you just were. So you can open up this thing here and this is where you will find the rifle workbench. So go ahead and collect that. And now you're going to head to the very northern end of the map right over here by the dam. So this location over here, we're going to this little house right over here. This kind of like house by the boom gate. You're going to go in here. You're going to pick up a collectible on the desk. And then that's that. Now you're going to exit this house and you're going to go to the north at this kind of artillery kind of like shooting thing. So you're going to stand here and you're going to look into the dam all those like water exits. The third last one is going to have a stone eagle. So they're one, two, and three shoot the stone eagle and that is the final collectible in the secret missions mission number seven of sniper elite five i hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching